Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. I am a full-time voiceover artist and audiobook narrator. And my channel is dedicated to those of you who are just starting out to show you some tips and tricks and some techniques that I use in the hopes that you'll learn something along the way and find something that is helpful to you. So uh, what I wanted to talk about in today's video, um, I've had a few different conversations with people this week regarding thumbnails for Fiverr and um, what kind of pictures to use, what kind of formatting to use. And that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. And today we're going to use a free software called Canva to make our Fiverr thumbnails. So let's get started. Now, before we get too far into Canva, I wanted to give you an example. Here are my gigs and you can see my thumbnails here. And I started a couple of different tests. I wanted to start using a format that was pretty much uniform, but however, the text and the colors would change, like this one here and this one here, and then these two down here. And I have been getting some action on those. Um, and then I had my old test, which was these two here. And I'm still getting a little bit of traction on those as well. So now I'm at the point where I need to decide which of the thumbnails I'm going to go with and then slowly start to convert all of them over to a more consistent look for branding. So when clients are searching for something on Fiverr and then they see you and then they look for something else and then they see you again and it's that same familiar format that adds a little bit of credibility and authority for you as a seller. So that is the goal for today's video. So let's go back to Canva and we'll show you how to create a thumbnail in Canva. What we're gonna do is go to create a design and we're gonna go to custom size. Our width is going to be 550. Our height is going to be 370 pixels. Create a new design. Now this will be the size for Fiverr's thumbnail. Now, as you can see, you can't really tell where you can't really tell where our canvas is. So what I typically do first is change the background color. So I can a little, I can see what I'm working with a little bit easier. We can always change it later. So the first thing, the most important thing you wanna have in your thumbnail is a picture of yourself. More people wanna see who they're working with when they're clicking through images or gigs, especially on Fiverr. The more eye-catching your thumbnail, and if you have a picture of yourself in it, the more likely you are, in my opinion, to have somebody click on your gig and listen through your demos. So this is much like when you're, like a cover of a book, when you're in the bookstore and you're looking through books and what catches your eye more often than not? If you're not looking for anything in particular, what's gonna catch your eye? The cover of the book, right? Same thing goes with your thumbnails. Your thumbnails have to catch the client's eye and it helps to have a picture of you in it. So, and I'm gonna add a transparent background photo of myself. Now, as you can see, this is a kind of an awkward shape. It just, my head kind of floating here, I got cut off. It's like a bust of me. If you wanna change that, you go over to elements and you go to frames and you have all of these different frames that you can add your picture in. So let's go with the circle and we'll just drag my face in there. Perfect. Now that looks a little bit cleaner. So if you have a profile picture of yourself, you can move this wherever you want and then decide how you want your thumbnail to look. Do you want to have an element in it that is consistent across all of your thumbnails? For example, if you wanted to choose elements again, let's go back to shapes and let's use this triangle. Uh, what I want to do is I think I want to flip this. So what if we had a triangle in the bottom corner? How about bottom corners? Let's duplicate this. and flip it again to fit this corner. So what if our thumbnails had a triangle, a colored triangle, 
and it could be your brand colors in each corner. Let's bring this to the front. And then you could have your text. Let's get rid of that. And then your text could say, you know, professional voiceover. And of course, let's get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is stretch this out. And then we're going to shrink down the size. Actually, let's do voiceovers. And then, and you don't have to do it this way. This is just to give you some ideas for consistent branding of your, of your thumbnails. Um, so let's add, let's just add a little bit of style here. Uh, let's do, this one's free. So let's go. American female, shrink this down. Actually, you know what? Let's move this down, move this up. And let's change the color of this. Let's change it to, uh, no, that's too light. What if we did like a red? No, we have red over there. What if we changed these to like a gray? Oh, you know what? Let's change these to like a blue. And again, you can use whatever colors you want. Oops, I want my background. Where's my back? There's my background. Okay, so let's change the background to like a light blue. And let's change this American female. Let's change this color to, let's change it to a white. And then let's change this. You know what? Actually, I don't like the layout of this either. Let's change this to Miss center. There we go. Let's see if we can um, add a little effect to this or something. Let's do, let's do a shadow. And let's change the color of the shadow to maybe a dark blue. That kind of lifts it a little bit. And then let's do something here. Let's give it a little lift. Gives it like a little slight shadow behind it. I don't know if this is really legible, this font, now that I'm looking at it. So let's change this font. Let's look at this one. I kind of like that. Let's capitalize this F. That might, you know what, that actually might be a little hard to read. You know what, we can actually space this out a little bit. There we go. Oops. Stop it. Give me this. There we go. All right, so I am in no way any kind of graphic design artist or anything of that nature, but I mean, you get the idea. If you want to add, if you want to add a photo in the background, you can. Let's actually move this to the back one more time. There we go. So just play with it and find something that speaks to you. But the only thing that I wanted you to keep in mind is that even though these are to the size specifications for Fiverr, there's still going to be a little bit of squishing going on with your thumbnails. So try to keep your text and your pictures away from the edges of your thumbnail. Try to keep everything as close to the center as you can. And you might have to test it a few times. You might have to upload the thumbnail and then see what it looks like live on Fiverr, redo it on Canva and replace it. I mean, we've all done it. We've all been there, but... Once you have something that you like, try to keep all of your gig thumbnails consistent in that same kind of look or feel. Just change the text, change the colors if you want, 
but your gigs have to have different thumbnails for each gig. They cannot be the same. They can be the same in look and feel, but they cannot be exactly the same. So use that to make all of your thumbnails consistent in look and feel. And I am, of course, in no way any kind of graphic design artist at all. I just wanted to show you some of the, the tools you have available to you to make a Fiverr thumbnail fairly quickly and easily and for free. So, and then you could also use those same tools within Canva to give your gig thumbnails a consistent branded look to build credibility and trust and, you know, all of the things that come with branding and consistency. Consistency is always key. <laughs> I really hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below or send me an email if you like. I always love hearing from you guys. If you'd like more information about me, my work, or how I can help you get started in voiceover, come on over to my website at voiceoverangela.com. I have courses on there. I've got a great group of people who interact and help each other out. I've got one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I've got a whole page dedicated to recommended gear to help you get started. But if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.